we are incredibly lucky to have such a rich industry of talent and a network of support throughout the state. Together with our friends and partners, we are working to put New York State on the national map of a great place to make games. And this challenge, as well as the developers that we're going to recognize today, are a very important part of this network. So a competition like this is sort of a natural outgrowth. When you're trying to stimulate new ideas and really put your community on the map, and indeed your state on the map, for a whole new economy, uh, the innovation economy that surrounds gaming, a hundred billion dollar industry this year alone. We believe that the sky's the limit. It exceeded our expectations. Um, you know, we, we ended up with 40 entries, very, very enthusiastic about the amount of entries we got. It's just a testament that there are incredible games being made in, in New York, right? There's incredible talent here. Um, they want to make games. They're interested in making games and they want to stay here and do it. In first place in the student developer category, a team from RIT, we have Nathan Stevens, Lillian Jylan, and Stephanie Stoner for their virtual reality game, The Kingdom of the Tao. To find out that we won first place is, uh, it's really humbling and I'm really grateful. For me, I grew up locally here to Rochester, so to have this kind of coming about, you know, my fear was always, okay, I, I have my roots here, but I'm gonna have to go to the West Coast in order to get a job and, and my passion. But now, seeing the investment coming and, and being a part of this is getting my hopes up to be able to stay here at home and, and pursue this.